Welcome back. I'm so glad that you came back to join us for day four of 30 Days of Prayer for Our Children. And today our prayer is going to sur surround that we would like our children to take refuge in God. So that's going to be our topic. It kind of flows from yesterday when we were talking about cultivating a love for God in the hearts of our children. We want them to love God above all else, above all idols, above all other sources of comfort. And we touched on that yesterday. So today we're going to take it a step further and just really pray very specifically that during the storms of life, our children would take refuge in God and God alone. I love Psalm 18, 1 and 2 that says, I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of salvation, my stronghold. And that picture of stronghold, um, when David talks about stronghold, he actually had to physically take refuge in a cave or a otherwise called a stronghold um, when he feared for his life. He was being pursued by Saul and, and his people and just fearing for his life, he took refuge in a stronghold. And I think we use the word stronghold kind of loosely and more in spiritual terms these days. But I love getting that mental picture of stronghold. God is our refuge. I also like um, fortress. He's our strong tower. It's like we're up high above looking down on all of our problems and all of our oppressors and just taking refuge high up away from all of our, we've been risen up, rising above our problems. So as you pray for our, your kids and as we pray for our kids, let's picture that, that they're actually taking refuge in God's stronghold or in God's strong tower, protecting them from those things. And, you know, I think there are so many different things that all of us take refuge in. And some of them are good things like family, um, exercise, um, our children, our friends, um, relationships. These are all good things. But we can't let those things be substitutes for God, our refuge, our primary help in time of trouble. So I think it's there's a fine line there. So we don't want to discourage our kids from pursuing great friendships or to be surrounded by people that are going to lift them up and for them to take refuge uh, in some ways in their youth group or in ministry even. But all of those things have the potential to overshadow God and to, to come between us and recognizing that God is our first and foremost help and comfort. So that'll be our prayer today. And as, as always, in every single one of these prayers, it's, it's like looking in a mirror because I know that, that I have a long way to go when it comes to that. So with that kind of openness to God working in us, as we pray for our kids, let's pray. Almighty God, we just praise you for being our stronghold, our refuge, our strong tower that we can just, um, I, I like to picture just literally being in the palm of your hand, raised up high above the earth, so far above problems and worries and struggles and safe in your hand, God. We pray that for our kids too. Lord, we just confess that we ourselves have failed to recognize you as our all-sufficient stronghold and help. And we just turn from that, God, as parents and grandparents and caregivers of these children. We confess that, that we have failed in our own way to recognize you in that way. And we confess that. We repent of it and we turn from it, God. Help us to go to you, to model that kind of dependence so that our children can see it, whether they're still in the home, whether they're far away that they would still be impacted by our faithfulness to you because of your faithfulness to us in times of trouble. We just pray that you would open our eyes to even small areas where we can begin modeling this or where we can begin shepherding our children gently to turn to you either through prayer, through Bible study, through um, just any kind of relationship with you, God, during their times of trouble. I pray for eyes to see 
areas where our children are running to other things. I pray for wisdom and discernment to know warning signs of more serious uh, things like addictions and vices that are unhealthy or damaging, whether it's um, illegal substances or any kind of substance abuse or friendships that could be damaging, that you would give us eyes to see that God and wisdom to know how to intervene or when to not intervene and when to just pray for you to give them breakthrough. God, we do pray for breakthrough for those children in our lives and grandchildren that are battling addictions or are deep into damaging friendships or even marriages or relationships that are taking them away from you, God, that they're, that they're codependent with or so dependent on that there's no room for you. God, we just pray your, your, um, your light to surround them and illuminate their lives so that they themselves can see and recognize the problem. Lord, we just do pray for the self-control and wisdom to know when to keep our mouths shut because it's so hard. Lord, we just pray that right now you would just wash over us with peace as we think and you bring to mind those things and those people um, and those situations that are potentially damaging and, and we just almost physically place them in your hands. Lord, give us peace to know that you've got this. We just pray that you would intervene in their hearts on a supernatural, spiritual level, that you would intervene in their lives through godly counsel and friends and people that are going to give them advice and point them in the right direction. But most of all, we just pray, God, that they would just continue to experience the peace and the comfort that comes from dwelling in your shelter. God, that they would just get a taste of that sufficiency and that covering that you provide and that all other strongholds would pale in comparison. God, we just pray that you would plant in them an ever-growing faith that is their own, that has nothing to do with us or anyone else, that they would be connected with you in a way that they would always remember whose they are and from whom their help comes. In the powerful name of Jesus, amen.